Hello, hello. My name is Mahogany and I am a Christian doula. Um, I am a professional PR specialist. That's what I went to school for, communications and journalism. I'm a part-time professor and I'm also a doula. And you might be thinking, she wears so many hats. Okay, this is interesting, but I'll go with it. One thing that I believe is that where God calls you to, you were sent to that space for an appointed time. So in all the things that I do, let me tell you, God has really ordered my path. And I'm so passionate about each and everything that I do because literally God has given me the boldness and the confidence, like the Bible says, to be bold and courageous. And he has allowed me to launch into and step into all of these different things that I do. But I am in these spaces to take up spaces as a servant of Christ, right? So in everything I do, I do it unto the Lord. Like the Bible says, do all of your work as you would unto the Lord. And being a woman, being a woman of color, a black woman, God has always called me to be able to inspire, encourage, mentor and stand in for women and so there's no coincidence that i do birth working and birth working is not always just being a doula it is also advocating for women it is also you know empowering people with resources and tools it's not just being there engaged in the hospital setting or at the home with the baby with mama sometimes it goes beyond that it, it involves advocacy on a legislative level, right? How many doulas are really out here advocating for women, right? So birth working to me, I mean, it, it's, <laughs> it's its own world, really. Because as a help meet, because women, we are called a help meet in the Bible, right? As a help meet, as a support system, as your helper, it goes beyond me just, you know, being there to tell you you can get through this birth. It's me advocating for you at all levels, right? To ensure that you throughout this journey are supported, right? Um, so I love being an advocate for for women, right? I love being able to talk to leaders and to advocate for healthcare, right? And to advocate for you know, quality maternal health for for women. I love all these things. So in this space, I bring my personality. I bring the power of God. I bring my servitude to the Lord, but also in this space, God allows me to serve others. And I'm so appreciative of this space. So a lot of people tell me that, you know, especially first time mothers, that they are very anxious to be moms. And let's be honest, if you are a first time mother, if you are just finding out that you are pregnant or you're a few months along and now your mind is kind of going over birth <laughs> and you're thinking about birth probably for the first time you know um you're hearing other people's horror stories because people love to project on others it can be in a, a very anxious space to be in but i'm here to let you know that as your doula one thing that we are going to conquer is anxiety because the bible says that we are more than conquerors right and the bible says be anxious about nothing so we are going to conquer this fear of birth that many many women have that is honestly a very natural feeling so through my youtube channel through my facebook page i just want to begin to empower you all with some um, tools that we can use to overcome anxiety. One thing that I love is sound therapy. I personally go to a black lady therapist. My therapist is a good black lady therapist. She rocks. And for black people, sound and talking about things is so good for us. This is why we are so soulful, you know, in our music history and our musical culture. You know, um, things like the drums come from Africa. So rhythm, 
music it's very important to us and it's an outlet for us so i love sound therapy if you don't even choose me as your doula but you just want to reach out to me and ask me some questions please do i will make you a playlist of music that is calming that is helpful i'll make you a playlist of prayers you know i, I want you to be empowered to have these resources Something else that I find to be um, very helpful for Black women, especially, um, is touch, right? Um, many of us, you know, touch can be a sensitive topic um, for people of color because many of us have been subjected to different nuances and traumas, and I try to be as trauma-informed as possible. But a great thing about touch is that, of course, you want to communicate your boundaries, but you are allowed to touch yourself right this body is yours <laughs> um and you are able to touch yourself and there's something very calming about connecting with god through just having skin to skin right with the lord we talk about skin to skin with with babies right but what about skin to skin with the lord and connecting with god right um i tune into a prophetess who does amazing teachings and one of her teachings was on having skin to skin with god spending quality time with god connecting with god just like when a baby comes and you have that golden hour to really just connect with baby and you might put baby on your chest to connect and have that skin to skin time we can have that same skin to skin time with the lord and i think that that is very powerful touch is very powerful so begin to touch yourself Pray. When you feel anxious, pray and put your hand over your heart, right? And connect with God and say, Lord, you know what is on my heart. And Lord, I'm asking you to calm my body. Sometimes it's as simple as saying a prayer and just having skin to skin. Connect with your heart. Breathe. Take a few deep breaths and invite God into this space when you are feeling anxious. Another technique is tapping where you, again, because you know your boundaries, but touch is very effective, but you will be touching yourself. So you have permission to touch yourself. This has nothing to do with anyone else touching you. If you're not comfortable with touch, this still is very effective because you are touching yourself. There is a method of therapy called tapping therapy. And psychologists and psychiatrists and people in the, the world of mental health and wellness they understand tapping therapy and they have done a lot of study into the science behind tapping therapy but you would take two of your fingers right and there are different points on our body it's almost a form of kind of like acupressure where you would place your hand on certain pinpoints and those pinpoints correlate with different parts of your body. For instance, this area of your hand might correlate with your stomach. I don't really know acupuncture that well to be able to say if that's true or not, but it would be similar to that, right? So there are different parts of your face that correlate with different parts of your body. They're called meridians, I believe. And for instance, if you were to tap your chin, that would correlate with a certain part of your body tapping above your lip cord correlates with certain parts of your body tapping between your brow bone tapping your forehead tapping the side of your eye and going around to the bottom of your eye i have on glasses y'all <laughs> even tapping your head um it correlates with different parts of your body. And when we become anxious, we're storing a lot of emotions in our body. So tapping is effective because while you're tapping, you're activating these different parts of your body. And what you wanna do is you wanna say affirmations as you're tapping, right? Um, and when you tap, you want to use these two steps. You wanna address what you're feeling, but you wanna affirm yourself right to feel a positive emotion um despite what you are feeling so you would say something like yes i'm nervous about giving birth but i know that god has made me more than a conqueror i know that god knows every hair on my baby's head and my baby is safe inside my body yes i don't understand what these doctors are saying to me when i go to my appointments 
but I have the confidence of God and I believe that God will lead this experience. I have a support system. I have a great doula. I will be fine. All is well within my soul. And I like to affirm myself through scripture. So this is something that you can use that is a scientifically proven stress relief option, right? But it's also something that is a spiritual um, wellness practice because you're affirming yourself and your spiritual wellness and your mental wellness through scripture. So please, again, reach out to me if you would like a playlist. Um, I will create a playlist for you. Um, but also, please try tapping and do this every day. If you need to, you can look in the mirror and tap or when you feel anxiety, usually you wanna get ahead of the anxiety. So you wanna do this probably when you wake up in the morning before you start feeling a lot of feelings. <laughs> um, you wanna continue to regulate your nervous system throughout this process. And that means connecting with yourself, grounding yourself, right? Because birthing, it, it's not something that's just a frolic in the park <laughs> like some people make it seem it's just a frolic in the park and you just push the baby out no medication and you're at home and you're in a birthing pool and everything goes well it's not all cakes and ice cream right so we do want to be able to ground ourselves right i'm someone who definitely believes in grounding i believe in therapeutic uh outlets and therapeutic practices that help us to ground ourselves. I believe in journaling. If you book me as your doula, we can journal together. I will give you prompts so that you can journal about this experience to again, help you connect to yourself, help you to connect with baby, but most importantly, help you to connect with the God who sees you, Jehovah El Roy. Did you know that there are so many names that we can call God from Yahweh, the I am that I am, to Jehovah Jireh, the God who provides, to Jehovah El Roy, the God who sees you. And just like Hannah, when Hannah was getting ready to give birth to Samuel, after she had prayed and prayed and prayed for a baby, she had gotten teased because she was infertile. God gave her the baby and he saw her and he was faithful to Hannah and Jehovah El Roy is faithful to you. And I want you to connect to God. Through this experience, I want you to connect to God in a way that you've never connected to him before. So I hope this helps. Please reach out to me at Mahogany the Doula on Facebook if you would like to chat. Um, if you would like a playlist, reach out to me. I can pray with you. I can send you a prayer. And based on what the Lord tells me and what I feel from the Holy Spirit, girl, I'm going to get you together with a playlist of about 15 hours worth of music, <laughs> songs, sound therapy, calming sounds, prayers. I will find the videos and I will send you over about like 15 hours worth of music. And you can just put it on a loop and you can play it at home. <laughs> if you're not due yet, you know, you can just play it at home. But if you're due and, you know, you can't book a doula right now, you just got to go to the hospital. That's fine. <laughs> Take my playlist with you, get you a speaker, play it while you're at the hospital, honey, and put it on a loop and it'll it'll get you through. <laughs> it will get you through your labor. You will be able to labor with the Lord. So I will see you guys soon in another video. Bye.